Hi, this is Samantha from As They Grow Up, and today I'm going to show you how to take an image and transfer it over to a tile to make a coaster. It's really simple, and there's a few steps to, to do. When you're finished, this would be the finished product. You can use it as a display, or you can use it um, as a coaster. So it's very simple. First thing you need to remember is when you do do one, make sure you flip your your image. So you want it to be backwards because when you Go to put it on your tile, you're going to be facing it down, so always be sure to flip your image. I have made a few where I forgot to do that. So anyway, let's get started. So first thing you want to do before you ever get started is you want to make sure your tile has been wiped off because they will get dusty. Now I've already wiped this uh, previously, but I'm going to go ahead. I usually will use um, water and wash it really well, let it dry, and then we'll get started. So there's two different ways you can do the image transfer. First you can use the Mod Podge mat, which works great. Um, or my personal preference is I prefer this, the matte gel cream. I think this works really well. Um, the only difference I've seen is, to me, this one gives a, a brighter, clearer image than the Mod Podge. But they both work great, so whichever one you have on hand, I use the matte if I use the Mod Podge on here because I think it blends better with the stone. So I'm going to go ahead and open this since we're going to get started with this. So what you're going to do, and I've already flipped the picture, so it's flipped. Of course it's going to look right now, but it is flipped. So we're just going to take it, and we're going to put some down. Generously put it on here. You can, some people do put it on the photo as well. Now, if I'm using Mod Podge, I will um, also apply it to my photo. Don't get on the back of the photo, but I do apply it uh, to the front. But uh, however, if I'm using this, this, the matte gel, I won't. So anyway, it's on here really good. And um, be generous with it. Smooth it out. And then we're going to place our image on here, line it up, now another thing I've noticed with the matte gel is that if it doesn't line up perfectly at first, you can move it just a tad, I would not move it if you have ink, if you have color on it, it does, it, I've noticed the color will smudge just a tad, but not really that much, um, but you can move it. With the Mod Podge, I've noticed that once it's down, it's it's basically down. So um, you've got to be pretty exact. It will not move around as much. So basically, this is it, and we will let this dry 24 hours uh, before we take this off. So we'll be back. Okay, we're back now. This has had time to, to sit. So the next thing we want to do is we want to take this paper off. So I've got some water here in this bowl. Now you can either dip it, I will do that, um, or you can just wet your rag. But we're going to stick this in here and we're going to get a little wet. And as you'll see, it's going to get saturated. It's going to look like this. You can start to see that the paper is, is wearing away. So with that, what we're going to do is we're going to take our rag and we're going to go in a circular motion and that is going to start taking the paper off. So as you can see here as the paper starts to come off, you can see the image below. So now that we've got all this wiped off, and also you, you need to be gentle, don't use a lot of pressure to it, and I, so you're going to be able to see it. This is it. And as what I usually do is I'll let it dry for just a little while, and then I'll go back, and then I'll wet it a little bit more, and I'll take my hand and just rub it over it, and you'll see more of the paper coming off. 
it will at times look like there's a, a once it's dry really well it'll look like there's a film on it but once you seal it you're not going to be able to see that and um, always remember not to rub too hard in one spot because you will rub the image off instead of just the paper so you, you kind of want to move around with that and and get that done so we are going to let this dry. What I like to do is I have found I get the best result is to let the tile dry overnight. And then I'll go back and seal it the next day. So we'll be back soon. And thanks to the magic of video, we are back. So um, is what I use to seal mine is they have the Mod Podge. It's a dishwasher safe uh, gloss. I use that. I really like this because I don't have to put any other sealer on it. It doesn't have the sticky residue that the regular Mod Podge does have. So to mix that is what we're gonna do to stir that up is you take it and you roll it. This is how you stir it up. So once we get the Mod Podge good and mixed up. Now normally I use the wider uh, sponge brush that you saw me actually putting this on with, but they are all wet at the moment. So I'm going to use this. It's a soft bristle. It'll work just as good. So we're going to take some. And then here, remember I told you you could kind of see some of the water. I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, but you can see a little bit. There's no paper. If I continue to rub, I'm going to rub the words off is what's going to happen. So I'm going to take it, and I'm going to put a seal over it. And is what I like to do is I'll seal it once and then I'll wait 24 hours and then I'll go over it again and I'll do this two to three times. I usually will prefer three times so it takes you know a course of a few days and always remember that it takes 28 days for this to cure. So even though it dries, you want to wait 28 days before you stick it in the dishwasher or I even like to wait 28 days before I even put anything of heat on these. Now obviously if you're just going to use it as a display, like how I've done this one, then it's fine to go up. But if you're planning on using it for as an actual coaster, do wait those 28 days or you're, you could have it stick or you know possible rings or anything like that. So this is what the first coat, it adds a little bit of a shine to it. And we're going to let that dry for 24 hours and then I'll go back and put another coat and I'll wait 24 hours and then I'll go back and do another coat. And it's what I do for the curing process since it does take 82 days is I'll just put these in a container. Um, you want to make sure that it's not in high humidity and store these and let these just set and cure and then take them out and then they're ready to go. Thank you.